A Tupelo winemaker is converting her business to produce a valuable weapon in the global war against coronavirus. WCB Chad Groning has more. Preens will award me to reopen its wine production facility on McCullough Boulevard in May of 2018. Owner Jerry Carter was a longtime Lee County school teacher who liked to make wine as a hobby, and her wine is made with honey. Wine with honey is called mead. It's exactly the same process as winemaking. The only difference is that the main fermentable in our product is honey instead of grapes. So um, we use all Mississippi honey. So when you drink our mead, you're literally taking a sip of your backyard, which is really cool. But when the coronavirus crisis hit, Carter's business, like so many across the country, was ground to a halt until her family came up with the idea of converting their wine production into making hand sanitizer. And we just saw this need and we realized, well, we've got part of the process here. We've already can do part of it. What we needed was a still, which would take the alcohol level high enough to actually kill germs and kill the virus. Um, so we started looking just to see if we could find one and everything just fell into place. Carter says they were able to purchase this still from a company that had intended to use it at a trade show that was canceled because of the coronavirus. So we were able to get this still and get the other equipment to go with it. We bought it on a Monday. They had it loaded on a truck by Monday afternoon and the truck driver, knowing what we wanted to do with this, drove all night long and had it here to us by Tuesday. And thanks to some help from electrician and plumber friends, they were able to get it installed by Saturday. During World War II, the nation converted much of its industrial base from consumer products to creating what became known as the arsenal of democracy. Now in 2020, Queen's Reward is converting its wine production into making hand sanitizer, part of the arsenal of the new war against the coronavirus. So we're going to make it as fast as we can. Um, we've had, we just put it out on social media last night. We have been flooded with calls and requests of people that personally want it and businesses and first responders and people that need it. So we're going to make it as fast as we can and make it available to everybody as quickly as we can get it to them. And Carter says it's good for business. And this gives us the ability not only to keep our business going, but to get people employed that have, right now all of our employees we've had to lay off because we've had no work for them to do. I can call them back and have them come back to work and possibly even hire some other people. Carter says they will make the hand sanitizer as long as there is a demand. She hopes to have some product available for purchase next week. Chad Groning, WCBI News, Tupelo. Carter says once the hand sanitizer is available, it'll cost $6 for an 8-ounce bottle or $0.75 cents an ounce if you have your own container.